I said, I got you. Let me show you how thumb draw works here. So essentially, if you're a right-handed shooter, normally you would have the arrow on the left side. For thumb draw, a right-handed shooter will have the arrow on the right side of the bow. Okay, this is because there's an inward tension that is putting the arrow against the riser. So this also prevents the arrow from flopping off, which is really great for horseback archery. So once we move the arrow to this side, we're gonna take our thumb ring here, which this is only just to protect my thumb here. There's a lot of different styles, but it hooks underneath and I'm going to wrap over top here, giving an inward pressure with a knuckles forward position. This will keep the arrow in place. Now when I'm drawing, I line my back all the way up. And you can see if I stretch into my shot correctly, it should line my eye up down my arrow. That's the part that most people miss. When I release, I'm just going to let everything just naturally open up. And for thumb draw, it is absolutely okay if your bow moves. Some people even do a really strong kacha where they're throwing down this way or even this way. I like mine to just be a natural opening shot. So we're here, we're back, and just open up like that that's how you make your thumb draw shots it's one of the most unique styles of shooting in the world gives you a lot of options a lot of control over your arrow and you can make fast shots you can make accurate shots and you also get more power out of your bow